Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, the devil just flew out here. Okay, so I'm hearing a strong message. I'm hearing Spirit say, be careful with your temple. So um, some of you, I mean, again, this is for someone. Of course, it doesn't have to be for everyone. Just really take it if it fits with you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups. If you have been um, doing something here that has not been protecting your energy or especially your body or physical body or mental health, your spiritual health, everything really, um, protect your temple, okay? Because it feels like there's almost this sense of, I don't know, maybe some of you, if this resonates with you, maybe you kind of feel like something has been a little bit off, but you couldn't put your finger on it. It's like it's been kind of creeping around you, but you didn't know exactly what it was. You didn't know what the reason was or why you felt this way. Um, for someone here, I'm getting that it could be because there may even be some type of disagreement or argument or quarrel around you that has to do with separating yourself from a person or separating yourself from an energy. Um, and you would know, of course, if this message is for you because it's important to protect your temple, protect your energy. Um, even if you're not in an argument, it's still like a feeling with the Queen of Cups. Uh, I'm hearing definitely meditation right now. Somebody here needs to meditate, still your mind, uh, take a bath, take a breather, um, breathe it out. There's something that really requires the attention right now to um, I'm getting like a stampede for some reason. It feels like hmm. It's like I'm seeing a bridge. Okay, the Eight of Cups. It's like there's a a bridge opening, maybe to bridge into a new direction or to bridge this. It's like I'm getting it's about the territory. It's about your energy again with the Queen of Cups. Maybe even for some someone, if this is to do with your your actual home, if you're moving homes or you are definitely being asked to cleanse your energy right now, cleanse your space, sage your space, sage your home. Um, and if you are traveling somewhere, it doesn't have to be physical travel, but it's like I'm seeing you going over a bridge. And I do feel like this bridge is helping to end something, helping to end this devil cycle. So if you feel called to make a change or if you feel called to move into a new direction, even emotionally with Eight of Cups, you know, definitely listen to that because I do feel that what Spirit is telling me is that your vibration, this is for those who are very sensitive, very empathic, your vibration is beginning to rise a lot higher and where you're heading is almost like a temple itself. It's almost like you're heading into a pillar of light. Um, so this is very much of like an energy shift, an energy change. And it's, a, it's I feel like it's also really important right now that you don't tell things too much to people around you. Even if those people don't really have bad intentions, it's just like I feel like with the Queen of Cups, someone here, whoever I'm picking up on, you, you seem to hold a lot of intuitive wisdom and you seem to hold a lot of sensitive energy. Um, and so it's important that you don't just spill everything out or to tell everyone your thoughts or your dreams or whatever it could be. Because I do feel, I'm seeing a specific scenario if you went on a date, if somebody here went on like a first date or maybe even someone you know, I don't know who it is, but I'm just seeing like a coffee date or something, like a casual kind of date. It feels like that could be a just a sign for someone very specific to, in that scenario, if you feel something's off or if you feel like somebody is just not to be trusted, um, really, really, really do preserve your energy here. And especially around the feet, I'm getting somebody needs to ground their feet or cleanse your feet um, because that could be where you need to stay centered and to cleanse the chakras in your feet. Uh, I'm getting for somebody here too. So that is really the message. It feels that you're so close to some type of change. That's what the bridge is. Somebody here is so close to a change that's going to be very monumental and beautiful. And it's like you're entering to this room of light. But the devil is here to say that this energy or this force or this 
um, negativity or whatever it is, is wanting to keep you in the room of darkness when you're trying to go into the, the room of light. Um, so I do feel that this is connected here, your ancestors or somebody's ancestors are coming through to probably bring this message and also is helping someone to be guided with the Eight of Cups, especially this is some type of important message for someone who knows this is about you. I mean, it could be a broader message that this will resonate in different ways, but there's some, for someone specific, if you know that you have to remove yourself from a situation, that is a confirmation that it is definitely time to do that. Um, especially if it's a physical environment or a person you're interacting with all the time, something like that here I'm getting. So also I'm hearing too that if you are trying to strive forward with the Queen of Cups, even for someone here, if you're trying to make some a name for yourself or you're trying to move your business forward, this again, this devil's coming up to try to sabotage something. And I'm hearing the name Jason for somebody. Yeah, I feel like someone's being called into a different direction. I'm seeing like the stars with the judgment, even though it's the judgment and not the star. Um, it feels like someone's being called and beckoned into... Okay, some of you could be getting this through your dreams. Um, there may be somebody who, if you're having really disturbing or vivid or like yeah, I guess disturbing um, dreams. I feel like what's actually happening for someone is that you're traveling somewhere in your dream state that is attempting to keep you lower. Um, so before bed, it can be helpful to protect your energy and to call upon support. Because someone with this judgment in the Queen of Cups is really being called to loosen, even if this, because for some with the devil here in the Five of Pentacles, it can even be some type of codependent habit or clutching on really tightly to something. It doesn't have to be exterior or external, but I do feel for a lot of you, it's combined with the external, if that makes sense, because... This could even be like, I want to hold on to this because I need this, or I want to hold on to this person because of this, or I need to hold on to this fear because of this circumstance, or I don't have enough money, or something like this with the Five of Pentacles. Um, or even I need to hold on to this relationship because I don't have anywhere else to live. There's just something that, however, that's going to fit here. And Spirit is really wanting to say that if you surrender and you give up your burdens to spirit to the universe to god right now someone needs to do that with the judgment card because there's a feeling of like enough is enough when a certain line is being drawn here so i feel like your higher self <clears throat> excuse me i feel like your higher self would know what this is Again, I'm getting a specific, this will really probably only be for someone out there, but I'm hearing somebody say, or a spirit say, book the next flight or book the next, book the nearest flight. So if that is something that you know that would be for you, um, definitely book the next flight like as soon as possible. If you know that you're going somewhere already and you have to get out of a situation. What else, spirit? What is this message? Who is this message for? for the collective. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we're still here. Judgment. Somebody here saying we're still here. I feel like it's probably spirit saying we're still here for you. Ace of Pentacles, Strength, Eight of Pentacles. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I'm hearing something to do with like the devil that that you didn't mess it up or it's not messed up. You can still have this. So if there's something specific that you are looking for that you want and maybe you felt that you somehow messed it up or we're still here. Let's see. Tell me a little bit more spirit. Actually, tell me about this devil a little bit more. Yeah, I'm, I just saw somebody go like this, like keep their arm all the way far as, as possible. Queen of Swords. So I'm getting a message here. I'm getting a few, a lot of different things, but I'm getting something about a crystal ball. I don't know if some of you have seen this psychically or you know this is something around you is happening or if you consulted a reader or a psychic. Um, or just like Spirit saying, foresee the future, kind of look, I don't know, pierce through with the Queen of Swords, look deeper into it. Something requires you to, if you're at arm's distance from something, maybe even pushing it away. I mean, if you, of course, um, what should what should they do about this Queen of, I mean, this Devil? Yeah, I'm hearing if you've been hitting roadblock after roadblock, uh, especially the Four of Wands, especially if it comes to, you know, again, maybe a home situation for someone or even financial situation. If you've been hitting roadblock after roadblock, you would know if that's for you. And this situation requires your discernment, Ace of Swords, to see through it. Um, I'm hearing something about not being childish. So what is... But remember I said in the beginning to protecting your temple. So I'm hearing again, it's about your atmosphere. This is for somebody who it's directly about your home or your atmosphere, your work environment, a relationship, something around you, which feels like it's in your physical vicinity or it can be, you know, such as a person maybe that you've been seeing or, or something like that. What do we need to do about this devil? of cups yeah there's no more left in a certain environment and the ace of cups is here to bring new life is here to bring a new um, like flushing you through with water flushing you through with uh, cleansing definitely I'm getting I guess this message is really for somebody who needs to protect their space right now because I'm getting also if you have like Florida water or even if you, however you connect with, with spirit, there's something about using water and almost like pouring it over you as a protective ritual um, to really get rid of some type of interference with the devil. And I'm hearing again, if you have had a timeout with something, this will connect in different ways, okay? But if you've had like, you couldn't move forward with something for a while or you've had like, um, things were not progressing or even if spirit halted something from you, if they didn't, if something that you were trying to get along maybe stopped moving or um, there was like a break, however long this has been, this was the reason for you to have to deal with this first or to get away from this situation or even to protect you from this if this was in your environment um yeah something about a close call spirit saying like we're telling you this because it could have been a close call the moon so i get the feeling this is probably a very specific message for someone and, and again you would know if this is for you intuitively um, so listen to your intuition, but let's see if we can get any other details for what exactly this is about, Spirit. Anything else that needs to come up here? Muddled and unclear thinking. And we do have career at the bottom. So for some, it could be in your career um, area of your life. Or again, maybe this is affecting somebody's career. But this is this is a feeling of... 
Yeah, it's like it would spread like wildfire, I'm hearing, if you don't have it under control, okay? Beware of self-delusion. For some, it could be self-delusion because I was, something came up about that earlier. Um, I mean, I think for a lot of you, it can kind of go both ways because if you are in the devil's energy yourself, um, it can invite in energies that you don't want. So I feel like either way you look at it with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords, that could be why they showed me the, the crystal ball because if you need to be honest with yourself, you need to kind of like cut through. Clear Quartz Crystal could be really good right now too, but using that crystal ball kind of metaphorically to see the truth. So if you are somehow deluding yourself about a person, environment, situation, fear, worry, something that's causing an incessant, um, I'm hearing picture perfect for some reason. So maybe something appears to look good, but it's really not. Love, deep affection and caring which is what I feel this is supposed to be that comes in here. We have older woman at the bottom. Um, I'm hearing Germany. Let's see, what is this? could either be about an older woman or this could be even like an ancestor coming in here because I was picking that up before. Okay, marriage, great and good fortune. What is that phrase? Don't bite your nose off to spite your face. That's, I don't know if that's right, but I'm hearing that. Um, What is this marriage though? this marriage I almost feel like something is trying to come in I mean I don't know if it could be something like in the future like in the further future that there could be something about a marriage if that's that with the king of wands here the page of pentacles some type of offer that wants to come in I don't, how does that connect to the devil and this original message spirit? How does that connect? Okay. So for some of you, if it is about you, it's like with the Empress here, the more that you are in your own frame and energy. And like I said before, with the temple, like the more that somebody is staying in this energy of the Empress, you are magnetizing the right things to you. So that could actually be what the judgment is about, the Eight of Cups, that bridge. There could be something that on the other end of this is actually very significant and very beautiful for you. But somehow, some way, some shape, however this devil fits in to your message, has blocked it.
Yes, I'm hearing you're about to go on a new journey. Again, Eight of Cups here, the Queen of Cups. So somebody's about to go on a new journey. And this new journey actually could involve, uh, again, at some point, maybe a, a love. We have King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the heart here. Um, yeah, Justice, Page of Wands. Okay, yeah. There's something that I feel is definitely... It's like this. I think this is actually some guide coming up. They want this to be in your favor they want to bring this justice in but as long as this devil's energy is standing in the way it really is having a hard time coming in and you'll have to use your intuition to know what that is for some of you it's something within you it's something that you are holding on to thinking too much about deluding yourself about some type of uh, shadow within you and this is where protecting your energy and making sure that you're Putting the priority on this Empress energy is going to call in soon what you actually really do want. And it's like trying to come together. It's trying to come in. But for others of you, like if you're in an unhealthy relationship or like I said, some type of situation that you are not seeing through that sphere of crystal ball, you're kind of seeing it. You're not looking through it you're just looking nothing is right you're not looking at the whole situation fully there's more that you have to see through to understand where the culprit is with the devil so i hope that makes sense for someone um i feel like the main thing here to kind of close up the reading is for spirit wanting you to know that let's actually get this here i'm hearing something like temptation is only temporary or temptation is only is never is usually not going to last long so if you feel tempted to take a shortcut or tempted to delay some movement and healing that's where this message comes in so anything else spirit to close up this reading anything else Yeah, for some of you, it is some type of replaying of an event. I'm seeing a cassette tape going over and over. We have go with the flow. Yeah, let things happen and see at the bottom. We have angel of miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. That's what I'm saying. It like kind of took a twist here at the end because I do feel spirit is really wanting to say with this ocean here too and the queen of cups and the moon, it feels like this miracle really wants to happen. And for some of you, it's love that you've been really wanting and craving um, maybe even marriage and yeah I'm hearing everything will be okay everything's going to be okay so whatever this is everything is going to be okay in the end but right now the most important thing they want you to focus on is to go in with the flow Because for some, it could be like control, trying to control a situation, trying to control an outcome, trying to hold on, grip onto something. Like I said before, I think um, it's like it kind of blocks the actual flow of the energy. It blocks the thing that you want. One more card. Intuition, trust your intuition. I keep hearing the song Jesse's Girl. I don't know how that's connecting to the reading, but I'm hearing that here. Um, intuition. So, yeah, I'm hearing your soul knows the truth, but your eyes can delude you. So, again, with the devil here and the Queen of Swords. The more I think about it, I mean, I think that it's going to depend on what it is. But for some of you, it is some type of self-sabotage. But I know it'll be different for different people. But this is definitely a message with the intuition to your heart knows the truth. Your soul knows the way. But your 
human eyes with the Queen of Swords here and the Devil can see things through a certain lens that can actually begin to block all the good and block the flow, block the abundance, block your desires. And of course, it could also resonate in the way of with the moon here, if you do have something directly in front of you and you're ignoring that you know it's not where you're meant to be or you know it's not good or something like that, same kind of concept. Okay, so I hope that this message could find whoever it's meant to. Definitely interesting, but let me know if this connects with you or if it's for you and how this connects and what this devil could be. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in and have a great rest of the evening. Uh, take care and lots of love.